All right, we're on Zavin Perik Aleph Mishnah Hey, fifth Mishnah in the first chapter. I'm Sechet Zavim. We continue to talk about Riyot for a male. And remember that we learned that it has to be Riyot, that is, if a man is totally Riyot, it's, con- it's contingent upon Riyot on seeing, right? Let's go back to our chart here. Seeing. And it's not connected to days, but it is connected to days because it has to be has to be consecutive days. If it's not consecutive days, then it doesn't really then it doesn't really count, and it's only like a balkari. So the mission says, achat and shalash. What if you see one riya that's the length of three, as if it, three, meaning enough time for you to last in the last mission we learned that for two and two in a row, two consecutive, that is be enough time for you to go to see a riya, go to the mikvah, dry off, and then see another riya. So how long is this? Shim kumin gadion l'shiloach. So it's from, it's Kimin Gadion, from this place called Yi Gadion to the Shiloa. Let's look at the Bartuner, what is that? Makom Yushalayim, there's a place in Yushalayim, Shemiru Ba Malche Yevanim Avodah Zara. So the Bartuner says there's a place where the Yevanim, the Greeks, the Greek kings, put an idol, idolatry. Vaya Oto Makom, that place was Rachok Mine Shiloa, Shiur Shtei Tvilot, Yishnei Svigim, it took. It took that, that long, it took that long, to, it took the, the length of time, it was such a distance that it would take you from, to get from the Shiloach, you know where the Shiloach is, the Shiloach is where Ir David is today, that the, the well at the bottom of Ir David, it would take that long, time to get from Gadion to the Shiloach, okay, and, and, uh, and uh, that, that's Shnei Tvilot and Shnei Sipugim, now if you look at the Jastro for a second, the Jastro here, he has God, he has it in his, in his, in his version, Gad Yavan, Greek fortune, as long as it takes from Gad Yavan to Shiloach, and there are other versions, meaning if you look at the Tosefta, it's Kimi Gad Yavan, Kimi Gad Yavan, so it's a, clearly it's talking about Kimi Gad, Gad Yavan is a different place. Probably the name of a pool connected with the Shiloach, the fount of the virgin. So interesting, like, it's like we would say today, however long it takes you to get from Tachana Merkazit, from the central bus station to, uh, to, the, to the Shuk. And everybody knew how that long that was. So then they, you know, they knew it. God yon, God yon, God yavan. Just the fact that they put the vowels here doesn't mean anything because somebody else put it afterwards. Anyway, that's shen kidei shtei tefilot shnei svugim. Okay, so if they took you, if if the omission lasted that long, I raised this up more. It's just not one riya. It's if, it, if it's not three, only three on three set consecutive days, but one that's long enough. That's three. Ra achat mi rubekishtaim. So if you see one that's the length of two, mitamei mishkavu moshav. Then he's a mitamei mishkavu moshav. He's considered a zav, and he's therefore tamei, and he needs shiva nekiim. V'tzarich biat ma'im chayim, and then he has to go to the mikvah. That's biat ma'im chayim. Upatu min akorban, but he doesn't have to bring a korban. That's two in a row. Amar Rabbi Yose, he said Rabbi Yose lo amru achat miruba el imkein yeshva kadei shalosh. Rabbi Yose learns out from the psukim. He's a long drasha learning out from the psukim. He says no. I, I, what we learned before in the last mission of a long one being the, the length of two, I don't consider that two. It's only lo, the long one is only included if it's im ken yesh shalosh. If it's a length of three riyot, then it's three. Then you're a zav gamor. But two achat mirubakishtaim. Rabbi Yossi says I don't think that's a long riyah. Rather, to me, it only counts as one. Uh, Bartudur says in the lechak Rabbi Yossi. We don't follow Rabbi Yossi's opinion. We'll stop here. Dedicate our learning to remember me, my father, Arab Simchabed Yitzchak Kaman. Make it a great day.